The big day is coming soon. Robo Taxi Day is upon us. And the big question is, what is Tesla going to do? What are Tesla shares going to do? What's the stock price going to do? In this video, we are going to go through the hard catalyst that might occur on Robo Taxi Day and will boost the stock. As you know, I'm pretty bullish on Tesla long term. I believe by 2030, Tesla stock is likely to exceed $5,000. Why is that? Because FSD is an enormous TAM. I estimate $2,000 at least of the stock price will be FSD and another $2,000 likely will be Optimus with the main growth from there on coming from Optimus. Now, the big question, the elephant in the room is not if this is going to happen, but when it's going to happen. And the next big question is when is the stock going to recognize that it's going to happen? So that is the problem with RoboTaxi Day. We do not need another day or another event where Elon tells us all the amazing things that are going to happen in the future at some point in time because most people either believe it or don't believe it and will not change their minds based on more vision and more demos of things. What really needs to happen is that we see concrete milestones and timelines for specific things. And that is where this all this whole thing comes down to. Will we see specific timelines and milestones that are quantifiable, that are in the short term in the next six to 12 months, or will we not see these things? And it's going to be a shiny demo of cool things, of robots, of cars driving around and doing little uh, transportation of people. That will not be enough. So why is this so important? Because if you just believe in the vision and believe the stock price is going to go up at some point in a very significant way, which I do, the question of that's happening in 2026 or 2028 or 2030 is unfortunately very important because if it's going to happen in 2028, I can go somewhere else with my money and make money until then and then go back into Tesla. But if anything concrete is going to happen, if we see a more continuous implementation of the FSD opportunity, then you have to be in the stock now. So. What I did here is I'm going to take a look at the hard catalyst that I think could happen on RoboTaxi Day and then take a look if I believe they are going to happen. What is the first big hard catalyst? Well, one hard catalyst could be that FSD becomes so good, and that's a low-hanging opportunity here, that it becomes so good that we see some big step change in adoption by Tesla owners to pay for FSD. Now, why is this important? If FSD becomes so good that it becomes a no-brainer and a lot of people pay for it 100 or 199 bucks a month, this is a huge margin booster. But it's also a big demand booster for the cars. So what would need to happen for that hard catalyst? We would need to see some very significant internal data showing FSD becomes much better and a believable short-term timeline how you know, version 13, for example, is going to come this year in November, something like that, and see some high confidence by the AI and FSD team that big things are happening in the next three months. Easy to roll out because this is automatic. That could be a nice catalyst. Okay, the next one, that's the big one that I don't believe is very likely. A believable FSD RoboTaxi launch schedule within the next 12 months. So Elon saying, you know what? July 1st, 2025, it's going to be live. And here's exactly how. It's not enough for Elon to just say it's going to be live in the next 12 months. I'm talking about the RoboTaxi service. He needs to deliver some things that makes this believable. Some milestones, some technical insight. I don't think that's going to happen, but who knows? That would be the big one. Now, number three, my favorite, my favorite coming out of left field potential huge catalyst. If Tesla announces a supervised ride sharing service within the next six months, probably announcing that you can subscribe and download the app and already pre-register. That would be transformative. I heard that idea from multiple people circulating around from some analysts, from 
I think Jeff Lutz. I think that idea is very interesting. Why? As you know, I'm a little bit of an FSD robotaxi skeptic when it comes to timelines. I think this is a little more complicated than people understand. Not so much on the regulatory side, but that's one piece. But much more on the technical business model side. How are you going to operate a giant fleet of robotaxis? Who's overseeing that? Who's intercepting any kind of problem? This is a giant infrastructure you need. And one mistake, one accident, and you have a giant problem. So I think it's going to take much longer than people expect. And that's very bad for the stock if you have to wait three years or something. It's going to be a disaster. So a supervised ride sharing service is so enticing because it's easy to implement. You basically just copy Uber and Tesla can easily do that. It can introduce FSD in a supervised role to drivers. It gets everyone excited and starts you know, to use that Tesla network and solve a bunch of business problems that you, you can accustom yourself to having Tesla as a competitor for Lyft and Uber in your everyday use. And it would, it would create huge anticipation to the actual full robotaxi situation and it entices people to put their Teslas on the road in a ride sharing network. It also has huge technological implications because then you have all these little drivers driving people around and train FSC Robotaxi in the actual use case. So it would create a transition period that doesn't need to be short for Tesla to actually ramp up to the real Robotaxi thing. It's smoothing out that, you know, that step change that is the stock problem. If the step change happens in 2027 or eight, it's horrible for the stock. But this way you can smoothen it out with a human driven ride sharing service. So I really like this idea. It solves a ton of problems. And I do not think a robotaxi launch can happen anytime soon without that. So let's see. Let's see. That would be, I think, huge. It would add an immediate significant revenue stream. It would tes make Tesla a competitor for Uber and Lyft. But it also would be a very logical on-ramp for the actual robotaxi business network. And it would also allow to get huge multiples, much bigger than Uber and Lyft, on that ride-sharing service because everyone will see, okay, now it's inevitable that this ends up in a robotaxi network and we don't care anymore if it's three years or four years or two years. Okay, that's the third one. The fourth catalyst that I see would be platform deals for FSD with OEMs. So Tesla could say to Volkswagen, to Mercedes, to BMW, to Ford, to GM, why don't you license our FSD or the other way around? They could ask Tesla for that. We know this is going on behind the scenes. We know this is happening. The question is, can it happen, you know, on the RoboTaxi day? That would be also huge because OEMs paying for FSD, enormous amounts of money for Tesla, 100% margin more or less. And it's gonna happen at some point anyway. Number five of the hard catalyst, Optimus deals, connecting Optimus to the whole robotaxi situation. They are the McDonald's rumors. Is Optimus gonna do McDonald's burger flipping, bringing the burgers or the order to the robotaxi and then it's being delivered to you know, places. So I think Optimus might play a major role on the Robotaxi day. That's why it's called We Robot. So there are all kinds of possible Optimus deals. These Optimus deals to actually move the needle would need to be deals with McDonald's and others where they announce McDonald's is gonna train 1000 Optimuses in their restaurants and then scale it up to hundreds of thousands. So it would unlock the dynamism of commercial Optimus deployment if that happens, if there are any deals announced. Okay, what does it all mean? Let's go to the stock scenarios based on these insights. I basically clustered them into a bad scenario where the stock drops 5% or more on Friday, neutral scenario, minus negative 5% to plus 5%, so some like neutral behavior of the stock, slight sell-off or slight gain, and a strong upside scenario. So what would need to happen in each of them? I clustered this a little bit. I think the bad scenario, pretty simple. If it's all hype, it's all demos, it's all cool robotaxis running around, uh, driving around and Optimus running around, it's all cool looking, but there's no hard catalyst. There are no concrete milestones. 
and there's no announcement of anything that generates more revenue with diffuse timelines, I do not think this is going to end well for the stock. As I will say in a, in a minute, I don't think there's too much downside because the expectations are not that high, but there will be a little bit of a sell-off. The neutral scenario looks like this. Maybe Tesla announces pilot cities within six months, but not with commercial service. So pilot cities where they do some test runs and deploy some, you know, non without human drivers, Teslas uh, uh, driving around. That would be cool, but not moving the needle. Um, an Optimus pilot that is small scale or experimental with any McDonald's or whoever. Um, the announcement that there will be OEM FSD deals and dropping some names, but no concrete deal. FSD unsupervised launch date, you know, named within the next 12 months, that is non-believable. So Elon just saying, oh, it's going to happen. We launch it by end of next year, but with no meat, this is going to be neutral, not negative, but neutral. Um, and of course, reporting on quantified specific technological progress on FSD, that will also be neutral. Now, the strong scenarios, I think, are only two. Uh, the supervised rideshare rollout, that would be absolutely huge. I think this could happen and that would drive up the stock from here. With app registration, ideally today, uh, or at RoboTaxi Day, and the rollout of the supervised rideshare within the next 12 months or six months. Or FSD unsupervised believable launch date within 12 months. I don't think that's likely, but... If Tesla announces, let's say in 2025, FSD unsupervised will actually launch in pilot cities commercially to be used and provides a very clear argument and technology roadmap that is, you know, believable, that could also move the stock in a big way. And finally, of course, Optimus deals that are commercial and close to scale would be very surprising, but I think it's possible. That also would move the stock. If you ask me what's going to happen, I I have my doubts that we have a strong outcome here, even though I think the supervised rideshare rollout would be the big surprise that's actually realistic, but I still don't think it's going to happen. I think we will see a neutral scenario with a slight sell-off of the stock. Nothing too bad. So it will be a little bit of non-event, in my opinion, on the stock price side. I think the greatest risk Going into RoboTaxi Day will have the shorts. It's always stupid to short Tesla, but especially now because the upside risk of some crazy thing is significant. I would say maybe 25%, 20%, but most likely the outcome will be okay. Not, not much to see here, in my opinion, with a slight sell-off. Um, mostly because the expectations are pretty low right now. Everyone it doesn't expect too much. The stock didn't run up. So let's see what happens. So I hope you will have fun watching the RoboTaxi Day. I think whatever happens to the stock, it will be an iconic moment. It will be very important. And it will be this inflection point turning Tesla officially into an AI and robotics company. And whatever tactical short-term stock movement we will see, we should not forget Elon is building the future. This is amazing what's happening. And it's great that we have someone in the United States or in the West in general who drives forward this progress and doesn't leave it all to the Chinese. So very exciting what's going to happen. Let's see what the stock does and see you on the other side.